What's up, Wave Makers? It's Mommy Tsunami here, and I have filmed this intro three times now. <laughs> So first, I like film the whole video, well this part of it anyway, uh, and realize I didn't turn my mic on. <laughs> so then I refilmed it and then I was completely out of focus. So now I'm dealing with this freaking autofocus again and it's annoying and you know what, this is just a learning experience you guys, I am so sorry but I- <laughs> We are trying Color Street today, it's very exciting, a very exciting day. Where I want to say a very very big thank you to the two people who sent me Color Street today. First one is Annika, which is History Nerd 2015 on Instagram. She sent me these um, cute little purple nails, and then there's like two accent pieces too, uh, like shiny ones. I thought these were actually really cute, so I didn't wear them today. Instead, what I put on my nails uh, <laughs> were these guys. A particularly ugly set of <laughs> Valentine's Day nails. The girl who sent these to me wanted to remain anonymous, so I'm not going to say her name, but she also sent me a cute little letter um, telling me about her experience with Color Street. Um, she basically, long story short, ended up $300 in the hole because of Color Street. Now, if you haven't watched my Color Street video, I did a deep dive on Color Street on this channel. It'll be linked down in the description if you want more information about Color Street, about their compensation plan, all of that fun stuff. I did a whole deep dive on it. I've never used Color Street before, and I also have never used In Coco or Coconut Nail Art. Now, if you don't know if you haven't already watched my Color Street video. Coconut Nail Art and Incoco are two brands that you can buy from Walmart and from Ulta for significantly cheaper than what you can buy Color Street for. But they are the exact same product, just with different designs. Since my whole intro and everything got messed up with no audio, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just roll whatever footage I have from my other camera doing my nails and just do a time lapse and then we can gather our thoughts together at the end. Okay, and before I know I have like the grossest man hands in the world, you guys don't have to tell me. <laughs> I'm always just had bad hands. I don't know. My day job, I work with my hands a lot, so I guess I never just like did anything but put lotion on them. I never get like manicures, and even if I wanted to get a manicure right now, it's not like I could, so. Yeah, and I'm not sure how this is gonna work out with my nails being so short. When my nails get too long and like dirt gets underneath them and stuff, I can't, it grosses me out. So I just keep my nails short. <laughs> Now the person who sent me this says that there is a learning curve to this, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. That's, I guess that's another good reason why I am using uh, these ones instead of the ones that I thought were cuter. <laughs> it does have instructions on the back here, but so here we have it. Oh, if you were wondering, these are um, charmed and dangerous. Select a size, so we're gonna go for the smallest ones here because I have very small fingernails. There's a clear sheet on top, so we'll peel that first. Peel the polish strip. Oh, huh. I feel like I could probably use this other end, huh? For my other nail. Hold on. I don't know if that's a thing that people do. Okay. Is this where I'm supposed to smooth it out with a cloth? Huh. Huh. Quite honestly, I don't think that's that bad. Is it my ideal design? No. All right, let's put the other end on my other pinky. <laughs> Listen guys, I am a little impressed. I really was not sure how this was going to work out for me um, having the um, length of nails that I have, but you know what? It's actually surprisingly not bad. <laughs> I mean, the design ain't cute. I missed a little bit of a spot on this side of my pinky, but that's okay. We're gonna do a time lapse that begins now. Okay, what do you think? Oh, how fitting actually. That's like a simply neological thing. <laughs> so I will say I'm actually really um, surprised at how well the product worked and how much I like them. I have man hands, okay? I get it. I have the ugliest non-feminine hands. 
that any woman has ever had ever. Um, I always keep my nails very, very short because it grosses me out to get dirt underneath them. It, I, uh, but um, no, they actually worked really well. Now the only nail I had a problem with was this thumbnail, the edges like tore a little bit. So there definitely is a learning curve to them. So that was fun. The girl who sent me these did say to do the thumbs last, which I did. They are a, a, a utility while doing this. Over the past few months since I've been talking about Color Street, some of you guys have told me that you tried Color Street and it ruined your nails. Some of you said they didn't last very long. So what we're gonna do from here on out is I'm gonna touch base with you tomorrow or whenever I have updates to touch base with you and let you know how these stay, how they, work how long they stay because if these just like come off tomorrow then it's just dumb so i will talk to you guys in a little bit what's up dudes welcome to my update on the color street situation here <laughs> it's been almost two days since i put these on my nails they're holding up pretty well i think all this wrapping i did around the tips the tips aren't wrapped anymore <laughs> i will say that the edges haven't peeled up or anything weird really um they're still there they're still kicking so although this finger like the tip of it got chipped a little bit so it's kind of starting to peel off there i feel like if i was wearing normal nail polish it would be in way worse shape than what i have going on right now so still impressed but we'll see how much longer they last <laughs> hey guys what's up so i just wanted to do one more check in with you it's been maybe like five days let's look at my nails so they're still kind of holding up my thumb is kind of a mess so like the tips definitely aren't doing great <laughs> and this is about the time where usually i would clip my nails because they're already getting too long for my liking. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that. But yeah, at this point, I don't think they're wearing very well anymore. Like from far away, they're not bad, but like when you really start getting up close and looking at them, they're not great, so. Although they're not like peeling or anything, I guess they were just flaking off, so. Cool, it's been less than a week and this is <laughs> where we're at. All right, dudes, this is my final words <laughs> about Color Street. Well, let's take a look. So they ain't great, but they're not bad. You can see they've grown out and I did clip the tops off. First of all, they were getting a little chipped, but also I just hate having long nails. So I did clip them. It has been a week, an entire week as of today, seven effing days. Here's what I will say. Do I think the product is bad? No, I actually don't. If I were to be using regular nail polish, it would not have lasted this long. I would not have polish on my fingers, except maybe on my thumbs, because does anyone else have it where like, if you paint your nails all the polish on these fingers will come off like no problem but for some reason I can never get it off of my thumb is that just me does anyone else have that problem maybe it's just me <laughs> but yeah that's the problem I always seem to face and with this the edges are a little craptacular like for example my ring finger okay you can kind of see it oh nope okay well anyway it's chipped on the side a lot of nails are kind of like that Personally, I see the appeal with this product. With that all being said, I still don't think that anyone should go out and buy Color Street. Despite the fact that I do like the product, <laughs> I will never be buying it for myself simply because I don't agree with the business structure. Like I was saying at the beginning of this video, the person who sent me this particular design, she was $300 in the hole, but some people are a lot worse off. Long story short, if you're buying this product, you're supporting a predatory business structure and that is not okay. I think even if you are buying in Coco or Coconut Nail Art, since they are the same company, they're like the same manufacturer, the same guy owns it, you're still in a way supporting Color Street even if you buy those ones. You're supporting the man who runs it, you know, and he's gonna take whatever profits he gets and throw it back into Color Street, I guess. I don't know. Now, there's a rumor going around and I've called bullshit on it since the moment I heard it because when I first posted my Color Street, video a lot of people from color street were like in coco and coconut nail art are being pulled from stores and it's only gonna be color street from now on and i'm like i have yet to fucking see that shit like i even had one color street hun be like oh there's proof it's in the back office and i'm like okay um if you want to like prove what you're saying is true can you send it to me she's like why would i send it to you and it's like well i guess it doesn't exist then <laughs> i literally got a comment about this on my color street video less than a week ago so this is still a rumor that's being thrown around out there, but as of right now, as I'm filming this video, In Coco and Coconut Nail Art are still sold in Walmart and Ulta uh, for much, much cheaper. Again, they are the same exact 
product. Maybe there are just methods to painting your nails that I don't know very well because every time I've ever gone to get like an actual manicure, the manicures do last longer than this, but it costs more, I guess. Well, I don't know. If you're paying almost 15 bucks for a sheet of these plus shipping, I mean, a, a manicure, just a basic manicure with a nail painting doesn't cost much more than that. So mm. like, obviously if you're going to go get gels or something like those will destroy your nails and they cost a lot more. But if you're just going to go get a manicure, have your nails painted, that never chips for me whenever I've done that. It, it kind of just like is the same results, if not better for maybe a few bucks more. At the end of the day, this is an anti MLM channel and I'm going to tell you not to buy this no matter how much I like it. I see the convenience. I see the appeal. I'm just saying don't buy it. With that being said, I have something to show you. <laughs> Uno momento. You might see my cats. Can we just take a minute to appreciate you guys? <laughs> because after I filmed the first part of this video, I went to my P.O. box this week and uh, <laughs> you guys <laughs> Now, a lot of these came from different people, but most of them came from one specific person. I wrote their name down. Pop art, please. One of those pairs came from Emily, but then the biggest shout out I want to give is to Victoria, who I think she's the one who sent me the big bunch of them. This is more MLM shit you guys sent me. <laughs> I have multiple boxes of it at this point. But Victoria sent me this gorgeous handmade soap. Oh, also um, one of you guys who also sent me Color Street was Unknown System Error. That's how they signed their letter. They didn't give me an actual name. <laughs> I'll find the link to her Etsy store and put it down in the description below, but I was waiting to open Open this and use it. <gasps> Dude, it smells so good. <laughs> and I, I am a huge lover, I guess, of um, like artisan handmade soaps like this. <laughs> I was just talking in my Discord the other day about like asking for like, what body wash should I buy? I need a new one and I can't go to craft fairs to buy my favorite artisanal soaps because <laughs> I love these. Uh, and then lo and behold, they show up in my PO box. We really do need to be supporting small businesses and Victoria slash Prismatic Rose, her shop is worth checking out for sure. Sure. I highly recommend it and yeah, she's one of us guys So uh, if you're looking to support a real small business and not one that preys on people <laughs> color street Then uh, yeah, definitely check out prismatic rose on Etsy Also Mariah draws things sent me this little sticker it says I'm not interested in your business opportunity She wrote me a nice little letter. Uh, she has an Etsy as well It's Mariah draws things .com. for all your art and soap needs Please check those two small creators out uh, small businesses legit small businesses deserve to be supported supported right now and not multi-million dollar companies uh, like Color Street. Anyway, with all of that, let's thank my patrons. The biggest thank you in the world goes to MK, Michelle Matthews, Irene Nordeed, Amanda McMahon, Corey Allison, Diane McIntyre, Maria Burchett, Molly Wasilewski, Whitney Gregory, Katrina Rosemerick, Elizabeth Wyatt, Sarah Hennemuth, Jackie Wapel, Daniel Urena, Jenny Ruby, Oren, April Lindblom, Bobby, Ashley Nichols, Tuesday the 13th, Justin Kelsey, E. Higgins, Muir Family of Seven, Savannah Karkowskis, Maddie, Brianna Coulter, Boris Skeller, Meredith Nakata, Rachel McHenry, Desiree Lopez, Matt Douglas, Molly Bresson, Vandis Closet, Kim Cartwright, JP Eugenio Schaefer, Maddie Darley, Kelly Creffield, and Real Fly Realize, and the rest of my amazing patrons. I love you guys so, so much. Even if you're not a patron, thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. Thank you for sending all this stuff to my P.O. box. <laughs> Keep it coming, dudes. I love it. Um, even if it's just like, you know, art and soap. I don't... <laughs> I love it so much. It's you guys are so talented and amazing. So keep making waves babes, and I will smell you guys later. Mommy tsunami out